YouTube family, my junk family, junk entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. What up, though? What's going on? I am Mr. AMG. We talking about the blueprint to dumpster rental. This is for everyone out there who want to get involved in dumpster rental, who want the blueprint. I have gotten phone calls. I have gotten text messages. I have gotten asked this question by customers I was dropping dumpsters off to, okay? Everybody want the blueprint to what I'm doing. Now, for those who've been rocking with me, know I keep it transparent on my channel. So if you're new to the channel, what I'm about to say is going to be all the way transparent when it comes to giving you some advice, all right, on dumpster rental or just anything that I have expertise in, all right? So the blueprint to dumpster rental. This is the blueprint. Now, I want you to go get your pen and your notebook because it's going to get real heavy real quick. And it ain't gonna last long. This video gonna be quick, all right? All right, so now I hope y'all got y'all utensils so y'all can take this blueprint note down, all right? Now, first and foremost, do your research. Do your research. I have a lot of videos on my channel. Feel free to thumb through them, scroll through them, play them at the speed that you wanna play them at because I may be talking too slow on one video and I may be talking too fast on the other one do your research and don't just stop with my videos go look at other people videos take that expertise that they're giving you mix it with mine and come up with something that's probably far beyond what any one of us out here is doing that's what you got to be willing to do you got to be willing to put the time in in the research okay I'm gonna be honest with you guys a lot of people out here sell courses a lot of people out here sell uh, all of these business plans and structures to people out here, man, uh, for the simple fact that they know one thing. They know one thing that a lot of most people already know, they just don't want to admit. Most people aren't willing to put the work in to do the research. So they wrap it up in a nice little neat package for you and they either gift it to you or they sell it to you, okay? And there's no shame in that, man, because what good would it do anybody, man, to be out here putting all their time and effort and blood, sweat and tears into growing a business into something only to give it away step by step to somebody. All right. See, I come from an era where uh, nothing was given to me. All right. I earn everything that I have. Um, I'm not a taker. Not a one thing that I have taken was notes. I, I relaxed and I paid attention and took notes okay I, I enjoy listening to people talk because if you listen long enough you're bound to pick up some valuable information all right now if you're somebody who wants somebody to give you the blueprint to something then right then and there it just lets me know that you got a lot more work to do you got a lot more work to do because Again, it just doesn't make sense for somebody to give you the recipe, the blueprint to what they got going on. I mean, just think about this now. Where would Colonel Sanders be if he gave the secret sauce recipe away? There were there were other companies when he was drawing his first social security check. All right. That's when KFC took off. All right. He just wanted a royalty for every time they used his sauce. But other companies, they just wanted to buy the sauce. He knew he had something far greater than that. And look what happened. Sure, it came at a later day and age, but he stood fast and look at what happened. KFC is still standing strong to this day because he wouldn't give away his secret recipe, not secret sauce, all right? Big Mac got a secret sauce, and then, yo, it's been a lot of people that duplicated it, all right? A lot of people that imitated it, but to this day, all right, that Big Mac sauce, when it first came out, was unlike any other sauce. Chick-fil-A got their own sauce. All right, what good would Chick-fil-A be if they're giving this away? All right, I'm being real with y'all out here, man. All right, so what you want to do is just go soak up all the free game that you can get, which is what YouTube is here for. I'm making videos on the regular. I'm posting them. Other people are making videos on the regular. They're posting them. So you want to do your research and figure out if it works for you, if it's going to work for you, if it's a good fit, and then, and then utilize all of that stuff. Because one thing that I do know about people also, 
is the fact that, see, I could tell a person exactly where something is that they may want. Most people don't even got the motivation to get up and go actually see if it's really there. They want me, hypothetically, to go walk them over there to show them that it's there. They can have it. Well, unfortunately, that ain't how it works. Look at Michael Jordan. Some argue the greatest of all time, depending on what area you were brought up in. Kobe emulated one of the greatest to ever do it. And Kobe still put his own on it. But see, it's only one MJ. It's only one Michael Jordan. But it don't take away from Kobe. Because Kobe put the work in, the research in. He put the time in to become one of the greatest. I don't think Kobe went and asked Michael Jordan to write down every move he made at what second he's going to make that move. I don't think he did. He studied them. So the best advice I can give to anyone out there that wants to get in this business or any business that they're that 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 you may be uh they dreaming about study study research study that business study that person and more importantly you don't have to copy other people all right because we didn't invent the wheel but we all just came along and put our hands on it to push it and keep it going along a little bit further so don't copy people but take what you get and mix it in with yourself and trust me you'll be on your way man that's the best advice that i could give you and anybody when it come to this here i've put a lot of videos up on my my journey with this whole dumpster rental junk removal business all right uh but for real for real I can't give you the blueprint. Nobody gave me the blueprint. Nobody gave it to me. I did research. I studied. I invested in myself. That's something you got to be willing to do if you want to make it in business, man. Being an entrepreneur in life, um, you can't you can't expect people to tell you exactly how to get something. The world just isn't set up like that. All right. Unfortunately, it's not. You know, um, it would be nice if it was, but respectfully, the world isn't set up that way. When you want something, you got to put in that energy to go after it. So that means you have to and do it the right way. Don't cut corners. Don't go stealing other people's stuff. Don't go talking down on other people. You know, don't don't put no negative energy into it. Put all positive energy into it. Um, and, and, and people will and, and trust me people will guide you along the way but I love cliche sayings you know so uh, what's that cliche saying man I gotta leave y'all with uh, you can lead a horse to the water but you can't make them drink you know it's a thousand ones out there man you know see me personally I'd rather be taught how to fish than for somebody to fish for me you know um, that's just me so, uh, again, I'm just going to leave that with y'all, man. For anybody that want to get started, man, who want to know the blueprint to junk removal and dumpster rental, the best thing I can tell you is to do your research. I'm being all the way honest with you. I'm still learning to this day. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. There's no specific form formula for a lot of these things, and I touch on these things in a lot of my videos. So... If you're really interested in dumpster rental, check out my videos. Feel free to leave comments. I'm going to give as much advice as possible. But at the end of the day, it's still all on you to get up and make it happen. Trust me, when you do it that way, it just feels so much better. All right. I'm going to get up with y'all on the next video. Peace.